All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install sounds to GTA 4 requested by this guy, Tactical. Cool, so here we go. First thing first, open Spark 4. I'm gonna have all the links to download all this on the show more or description or whatever it goes by. So once you have this open, minimize all this stuff. Go to SFX, go down to Resident, RPF, double click. It's gonna open in the window. Probably prompt you with a message or whatever. Just click yes. It's gonna say make this read me in a edible format or something. So once you do that, click resident, go to weapons, export to wherever. So boom. After you do so, <clears throat> what you want to do is. Get this program called GTA 4 AUD Editor. You're gonna open uh, the 4 AUD. These all the sounds. As you can see, they already modified, but for the tutorial purpose, I'm just gonna show you how to upload one. So you can either press F5 or you can go to edit. Once you highlight the sound you want to change, go to import. And let's see. Where is the sound? <clears throat> the reason I keep clapping is so it won't keep doing that feedback. I know it's pretty dumb, but all right. Where the fuck are my sound? Okay. So you may get this error. I'm just going to randomly click a sound. So you are attempting to import a non-mono ADPCM audio file. GTA 4 only supports the following audio format. PCM sign, 16-bit, little Indian, mono. So basically what it's saying is the format it is in, it's, it, it won't read it to sum things up in a quick fashion. So, oh shit, I don't have the sound. So what you want to do is, you can either open import again, click and drag the sound into this program that I already have open, which is Go Wave. I'll also include all these links so you can download them. So what you will want to do is basically Drag this sound over to here. Go to File, Save, click Mono, and I re repeat this process so you can see it a little bit better. File, Save. It's, you don't have to even change anything. You can rename it if you want, but if you're just doing it for that particular sound, you already have a backup. Cool, if you want to make it you know, a different name, so you won't edit the original file, then you can rename it for that purpose. Me, I don't care. So, what you want to do is go to this PCM sign, 16-bit mono, save, yes. And if you, if you click yes, basically it's just going to, you know, re- rewrite over the original file <clears throat> oh. 
Pardon me. I was wrong. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Boom. So now you got it in mono. There you go. After you do so, what you want to do is go to save as. <clears throat> Pick a location. Make sure you name it. Weapons. So, after you do that, you should still have this open. Come on now. You're going to go to import, find exactly where you just saved it to. Where's the pistol? Pistol. Modify sound so for this to be in game, all you got to do is just click save and boom, you're done. And when you run the game, you have your modified sound, and that's the end of this tutorial.